Uh, we're going to have uh, three speakers, Ms. Uh, Moon Suk Jong, Andrew Luong, and Payman Nijet. Uh, they're going to talk about um, structure, hybrid structure, about um, one project in Incheon here in Seoul of uh, focus on optimization of uh, structure and foundation systems. Uh, also, we're going to have a, a project from China. It's uh, 440 meters with a very interesting uh, new aspects on structural design. And finally, uh, we're going to have a presentation from Payman Nijet regarding a new structural system uh, which should optimize the material use, therefore, uh, the construction cost. So please welcome uh, Ms. Musok Jong, from uh, a senior structural engineer from Samsung CNT Corporation, Korea. Good afternoon. My name is Moon Suk Jung, and I'm working for Samsung CNT. From this presentation, I will be presenting optimizing the structure and foundation systems of the 101 story in Chan Tower today. Uh, I will talk uh, like structure system, letter load analysis result, floor planning, foundation, wind engineering, something. The proposed 151 story multi use tower is a 600 tall and located in District 6 and 8 of Songdo Incheon Economy, Free Economy Zone in Korea. It was supposed to be the landmark building of Incheon, but the project has been postponed indefinitely after the global financing crisis, and nobody is certain how the design will change later. Although the future of this project is still to be determined, I would like to introduce this project since we reviewed the building and applied the latest technology. As you can see, in the initial design of the Incheon Tower. It was designed as two towers, but the shape had a disadvantage to resist lateral force because of the high aspect ratio. So eventually, the design developed into a building which is connected in the tower, tower in the low level and separated into two buildings on the upper level. To reduce the effect on the wind load, the final design of the building was developed to round shape tower with an opening in the floor plans. The final proposed news of the building will be approximately 30 stories of office, 17 stories of hotel and other supporting facilities, 100 stories of residential and several level of mechanical plants. Structure system. The structure system of the tower, long direction, consists of lamppost concrete core wall, linked to the exterior mega, col mega columns with a lamppost concrete of a panel 
to maximize the effect structural depth of the tower. However, the lateral load resisting system of the tower in short direction consists of male column plane structure where the rampers concrete core wall Lampers covers are linked with multi-story concrete belt truss. This is the outrigger and transfer system are installed in the following four places. Next. Lateral road and unless result. Uh, the lateral force was reviewed through a total, total of seven tests, including KBC 2009 and wind tunnel test with a different return period, damping ratio, and important factor. The seismic load was calculated with the, with the site SD and R factor is 5.54 kbc in Incheon area this the seismic load is significantly this is a seismic result load then wind load According to the tower, sh according to story share and overturning moment of lateral load by serviceability. And comparing the wind tunnel test, the value of a KBC 2009, like, like this, is higher in the low level. And the result of a wind tunnel test is higher in the upper level. The periods of the building are shown here. Example, the first mode time period, time period of the building with the foundation is 13.43 second for the concrete slab. This result is uh, interesting. There are mode shape of the building. At the upper level is two buildings shown a different behavior on the seventh mode shape result. Its tower upper area is a separate behavior. This is analysis result of a lateral plate displacement by wind load. You can see that the result is lower than 1 over 400, except E, e is return period 300 years is higher. Uh, next, plot plane system study. We studied several alternatives for the foundation system. Uh, I'm sorry. After the structural analysis and deflection checks of the plot plane system, composite slab, concrete slab, and bubble deck slab, and wide beam in the upper floor and low floor, the plans. As you can see, two-way slab shows the best performance in terms of deflection control. Two-way slab. While 319 millimeter thick bubble deck system show the minimum material quantities.
foundation system study. We studied several alternatives for the foundation system and selected an optimized foundation system. One nine eight files with a two point five diameter were proposed and allowable bearing capacity of the pile is about six thousand ton. With the optimized foundation system, maximum settlement of the five meter thick metal was we was observed to be 14.3 millimeter. As you can see in the graphs, actual pores in the parts are below the fire capacity. Under gravity load, gravity load case, as well as combined load case, including lateral load. The concrete slab option and composite slab option is the same. This shows the impact of foundation flexibility on the overall behavior of the tower through soil structure interaction. Therefore, the impact should be considered for lateral deflection control. Wind engineering. From early design stage of this building, aerodynamic effects were considered with the help of a numerical analysis. At first, we tried to estimate the effect based on engineering intuition with hand sketch with the help of numerical analysis tools we checked the effect of aerodynamic shapings the slide shows result from numerical simulation simulate around two Dimensional, dimensional section of the tower. Left-hand slide, two figures show the eddies shed from the body. Body of the upper figure has opening, while the lower body does not. This opening gives effect on the floor field and make large scale eddies into smaller scales. This results in the reduction of fluctuating pores in the close wind dilation. Various shapes of the building were considered to come up with the with the optimized building shape that has minimal impact of the wind load. Damper systems were studied to improve serviceability of sky breeze. The contents of damping system will be discussed in detail in another section. For super tall twin tower, we applied mega plane system concept, which shows very good e efficiency. But we need more research for link element to improve structure, efficiency, and construct constructability. We had optimization of floor plane system and foundation system of the tower. Wind engineering approach to tame the wind behavior of the tower and to reduce the overall wind force. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, any questions in the room? 